Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back to the farm. My family has been in town this week. We have been getting a ton of things done. We're going to take you around and show you what we've got done with the help of everybody. Um, we need to go down to this chicken tractor. There are too many chickens in that tractor. So we're going to put the tarp on this one and split those chickens in half. But first, we need to make some feeders. And we need to pick up some feed. All right, morning workout is finished. We are gonna come over now and uh, get our feeders made. We never did finish the feeders for the chicken tractors, the extra ones that we had built, but we're ready to use them now. So we're gonna get two trough feeders made and we'll get the tarp on the chicken tractor and we'll start moving chickens in. All right, guys, we've got two pieces of 10 foot, four inch sewer pipe. We used to use a Schedule 40, um, but the Schedule 40 is $40. These are $23 a piece at Lowe's. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a groove out down the middle. I don't wanna cut it all the way in half because it's too flat and you can't put enough feed in it. So we're gonna cut a groove all the way down, cut them in half, and we'll have two hanging feeders out of this one piece. We're just gonna do one piece today. We'll save the other one for another day. So let's make our marks and start get started. All right, guys, there it is, super simple. We just trace out the circle on these wooden ends. You can get plastic caps, but they cost a lot of money, so these are not that hard. Drill a little hole in here. We're gonna put our wire through there to hang through the top of the coop to hang these feeders. Um, we've got two of them finished. Like I said, we'll do that other one another time. We only need two to fit in here. So let's get some wire strung through there. We'll go hang those and then we'll go get the tarp to put on top. I'll go get Jamie and we will start moving chickens over and give them a little more space. there's our last chicken tractor finished we're not going to put sides and a back on it we're just going to leave it open it's in the 80s down in the 60s at night and plus these birds are probably almost seven weeks old they'll be seven weeks next week so we're going to get this moved down we're going to get it right next to the other tractor that way it's going to make it a lot easier to move half of these birds over into it all right guys we're going to do our afternoon feed that should help um we, so we got the car to feed here are the birds i am not positive how many there are i know we've had a couple losses um but you can see it's just uh some people probably wouldn't think it's a big deal but we want to separate them out a little bit just to give them some more room so we'll we're going to grab at least 70 of them we'll get everybody fed and watered for the afternoon chores so this might take a little bit jamie and i will start grabbing birds and putting them in the new spot All right, that is a lot better. There is 70 birds in there, fresh feed, fresh water. Jamie out here in her farm gear got stepped on <laughs> by a poopy chicken claw. 
but hey, I guess when you're not prepared, you're not prepared. But anyway. I'm prepared. <laughs> there's 70 over there. We're not sure how many there is. Remember, these are batches of 150. We have lost a couple, not many. So there's probably at least 70, maybe a little less. We are gonna move this one forward since they're on a poopy spot, get them fed and watered. Um, but that is much better. It was total chaos trying to get in there and get them feed. Um, we did do the trough feeders here. I'm, I'm thinking of making something that I can hang on the side and we can just fill like that instead of carrying the feeders in and out. But like I've said in previous videos, this is working great for us. We'll head back over. We may open these sides up, um, but I think this one is gonna be very nice where they're getting wind. Hey, Cal, you haven't said hi in a while. He's been back in the pond, if you can tell. But uh, they're getting a nice breeze from all angles. It is not as chaotic in here at feed time. So we'll get that other group fed. Um, we'll show you the last group, and we need to give out some thank yous here in just a minute. All right. We haven't showed feeding in a while, but this is so much nicer with half of them out. Um, I didn't really try to get a count, but this is the best time to get a count when they're all lined up like that. But we'll try to do that in a minute. But this is going to make chores so much easier. The chickens have it so much nicer. They're not jumping all over. When you get the first one filled, you can see them jumping on each other trying to get fed there. But this one is looking great too. I like not having the sides up there. These birds are old enough. It's not going to matter. But look at all that breeze just blowing through, keeping them cool. They got plenty of shade. Some of them want to be in the sun, but that is a huge chore knocked off our list. Let's go check out these, James, if you want. These 18. We're going to show you what we've got left in this. Come on, Cal. Come on. Come. Come. He likes his mama. But anyway, these are the last of the second batch of 150 that we got. Uh, Jamie and I have been butchering quite often <laughs> so we've got one more butcher we're gonna do it this Monday these guys are going on nine and a half weeks um, you can see they are nice big birds people ask us if we're doing turkeys and we just tell them now but we can do some big chickens if you want so these ones will be going Monday um, and a huge thanks to Jamie's mom uh, now that we're giving out thank yous with my family being here, Jamie's mom has been here from the start of us butchering and she comes and helps us piece up, um, which saves us a ton of time. It is just nice to have an extra set of hands when we're in the kitchen. I'm outside piecing up. Jamie and her mom are inside making sure the chicken is clean. All the feathers are off and uh, shrink wrap. Is it shrink wrap? Vacuum sealing. Thank you. Vacuum sealing all the pieces of chicken that we have done. So. Big thanks to her mom, if she's watching. If she's not, we tell her all the time, but we just wanted to give a couple shout outs for all the help we have been getting recently. So just wanna say, look at how red some of these combs are. These birds are nice and healthy, getting moved a whole bunch and they are doing well. So last of the second batch, I'm excited. I know Jamie's excited and uh, We'll have these gone and then we have about another week until we start butchering start butchering on those two sets over there so but just big shout out to her mom who's always always available and wanting to help well, i don't know about wanting but maybe we guilt her enough into uh helping us out with these birds so that's the first one uh the second one is norm and my uncle ken norm is my oldest brother he is down here with my uh, mom and uncle and uh him and my uncle mowed our yard the other day that may not seem like a big big deal to some of you guys but when we we're doing pigs and registering pigs and making sure all the pigs are good and the chickens and butchering and the lawn is the last the last thing we think about and it tends to get quite long so we don't have sheep we don't have any grazing animals um we're not planning on getting any of those right now so him and my uncle mowed the lawn the other day so that was a huge, huge help. And Uncle Ken's always here helping. You guys have seen him in videos. He helped me build these chicken tractors. Um, so just huge thanks to Norm and my Uncle Ken. We're gonna go up here and show you what my mom and Jamie worked on yesterday. Let's go up here and check it out. All right, the next thing here, my mom and Jamie uh, started working on most of these yesterday. These are our garden beds. We are not the biggest green thumbs. I'm not particularly fond of doing this. Jamie, I think, really enjoys it. 
but uh, we got our garden beds put in, so I'll let Jamie tell you kind of what she got here. So this bed is full of summer squash. Okay. And anything we don't eat, the pigs do, so I don't care if we have extra. This is also summer squash, crookneck summer squash. Um, pickling cucumbers and slicing cucumbers. And this was already in, but this is garlic, two different kinds of garlic, and you can see it's just starting to get its scapes. So it will be coming out pretty soon. And then a little bit of corn was already planted. So we'll hopefully get a couple meals out of that too. We do love some corn. We haven't had much success growing it, but uh, this is probably the best we've had so yeah, far. Yeah, so hopefully. Yeah. Then we uh, just put in some new ones this year. Um, we've got a link to these down in the description if you guys are into garden beds, raised beds. We think these are going to last a lot longer than the wooden ones. Um, my mom and Jamie were able to get all this planted yesterday. So what do we have here? We have a few different varieties of slicing tomatoes. We have a bunch of super sweet 100s and four green peppers that I squeezed in there. <laughs> and then some dill so we can make those pickling cucumbers. Dill? Dill, okay. yeah. To make our pickling cucumbers. And then I had this started and that's some butter crunch lettuce and hopefully some other lettuce, but I don't think it's gonna survive. So <laughs> I'll get my lettuce from my friend, Phil. <laughs> there we go. Farmer Phil at our markets. We'll get most of our lettuce from him, but uh, my mom helped Jamie do this last night. So thank you, mom, for doing that. Also, thank you to my mom. She's pretty much planned out all the meals this week. So that's uh, one less thing we had to think about as we were trying to bust out all these projects. So I've got one more thing to show you all guys before we wrap this up. All right, so my brother Tom and his friend Jimmy Vegas came for a couple days. They knew my mom was gonna be down or my mom knew they were coming through. He lives in Florida with his girlfriend and they uh, he's a caddy. So in the summer when it's super hot there, he goes all the way to Wisconsin. So we're kind of halfway in between here in Tennessee. So him and his friend, Jimmy Vegas, he stopped by um, and they started putting these together for us. These are the Hen Gear Nest Box. We've got this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I got one of them installed. Our goal is to get all these coops installed with some Hen Gear Nest Boxes. Um, we love them. They're, uh, they're great, man. We get all the egg collection in there. So big thanks to Tom and Vegas. Um, that saved me pretty much a whole day. Jamie and I were out processing. Tom and Vegas were putting these hen gear nest boxes together. Let's see if we got any. They were going to the old nest boxes this morning because they were comfortable with that. One chicken got smart and laid in here, but we'll have them all outfitted with the hen gear nest boxes now and it just makes collection so much easier. So thank you, Tom. Thank you, Vegas. Vegas also helped Jamie and I process one day. We processed twice this week while they were here, which kind of stunk, but I guess that's life when you have a farm and you just have to get things processed. So Vegas was helping us process too. He's now a assistant KC Farms farmhand. So thank you guys. But it wasn't all work and no play. They busted out the go-karts and had a blast riding around. We played a bunch of games with the family. My mom is staying over at a resort. We went there and went to the pool. And so we just had a great time, but we wanted to make sure we said thanks to all those people. Um, they helped us out a ton. It's always nice to have family in town able to help out and uh, spend time together and have fun. So we don't get to get off the farm very often. So when they're here, it's always nice to uh, do things, hang out, have fun. Um, we appreciate you guys following along. Um, there are codes for the Hen Gear Nest Box in the description for $15 off if that's something you're interested in. Um, if you haven't already, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to make the change. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Hey, guys, we forgot one thing. We do want to say we do appreciate and thank you guys for following our channel. You guys have many options to watch, so didn't want to forget you guys. Um, sometimes as busy as we get, it's hard to get videos out, but we want to stay consistent. And you guys watching these and commenting uh, motivates us to keep putting out content. So thank you guys for following along too.